Hi, this is Ollie Jones from IP Trade Networks, and today what I wanted to do is just provide a quick overview of the IP Trade interface and show you some of the call features that are available um, with the product. So, to provide a quick intro, what we have here for the is a central contacts window. We have 64 buttons that are available within this central space, and we could actually page down to show another 64 per page. You'll also see that along the bottom, just between the central contacts window and the handset controls, we have eight other buttons for pages, and then we also have the all key and search key. The all key is um, a summary of all of the pages and contacts within your profile. Search allows me to quickly search through all of those profile contacts and also go into the corporate directory if I need to. Um, at the top we have the health status, so we have the name of the user and also shows them the, the status of their turrets within the system. So there's an, three green lights and the fourth is for voice recording. So I don't have a voice recorder in this example, so it's just showing me that for everything else it's all looking uh, green and good right now. In the top left hand side I have a floating key applet. So what's that showing, going to show is that if any call comes into the trading floor that's not visible on the central contacts window, it's going to float it automatically into uh, the top left hand side so I can answer it simply there. Uh, the bottom left I have um, configured extra contact space so for this one I wanted to see some of the stroke lines or rollover lines for some of the other traders within the, the group we have here and I've also then configured in the top right a five channel speaker window. Um, the turrets we can support up to 30 channels of speakers uh, but I've just configured five in this instance and then in the bottom right I've configured a queuing applet but I can toggle uh, between different windows so uh, if I don't need the queuing applet I could have a dedicated dial pad there a, a window for streaming TV um, there's a wealth of windows that we could actually configure for the trader Along the bottom, next to the handset controls, I've also configured some regularly used function keys. So we have uh, the call history, which is showing it's got some lamping on there to show me that I've got a missed call. Um, corporate directories, uh, the large dial pad is pretty popular. Um, and we've also got the room key here, which I wanted to get onto, and I'll show you a bit later. Um, if we can't provide all of the function keys down at the bottom here, what we can do is use these arrows, these satellite buttons, to provide access to other tools that the trader has configured. They may be speaker controls, uh, access to instant replay for a voice recorder. There's a number of things that we can configure there. So in this central window, um, what I have configured is uh, four products, equities, mutual funds, securities and options. And these are all stroke keys. So what I can do is from any of these uh, buttons, I could choose to place a call and receive a call on. As calls come into the group, so if I place a number of calls into the sales desk, uh, sorry, the equities desk, what we'll see is the call start to queue up and fill up those slots. So those supervisories are going to be shared across all of the traders that have the same uh, presentation of, of lines. What we can also do is we can show call hunting. So in this example, I have uh, six sales desk extensions and I've just renamed the first three to represent some participants on the sales desk, um, Alan, Beth and Carl. If a call comes in, I'm just going to dial the uh, Cisco call manager pilot number. What we're seeing is the call in a top-down fashion is going to start with Alan and then it's going to flow through to the different users. And what you'll see is it's going to bypass Carl, sorry, Beth, and start straight at Carl and then float through the different numbers. Once it's exhausted the list, it's then go, I've got it configured in the call manager to hit the sales desk recall number. So we'll see now that um, it's exhausted its list of participants in the sales desk and I've got it to flow over to another number. And what you can't see here is that I've also got it ringing on Cisco phones. I've shared this line with Cisco phones, and I'll just answer it on the Cisco phone. 
that call is now answered on the Cisco phone. You can hear a bit of feedback. But any of these traders that are on the turrets could simply click and join in to that call as they need to. And you've seen that it's formed a conference here. So I'll end that now and just now show you um, why Beth didn't ring. So I'm going to end that. I'm going to go into my room panel. I'm going into the room panel. It will show this trader that the lines that are configured for the profile and you'll see that there's one that's grayed out and um, this represents Beth's position so if I simply hover my finger over that button I can see that the subscribe to line notification button is not selected so what I'll do is I'll just press on that select it save it and what we'll now see is that a call coming into that same pilot number is going to ring on Alan and Beth will now ring um, instead of previously where it just bypassed Beth and moved on to Carl. So the reason why we allow that feature is so that traders, based on their workload and based on what's been agreed within the team, they can choose to focus on certain product groups and certain lines um, without having to involve any of the IT. They can um, do that using this room panel. Whilst I'm demonstrating this, what I'll also do is just show you uh, what we can do in terms of forming conferences when multiple parties are joining, calling into the same uh, product. So what I'll do is I'll just place a call into the equities desk and we'll see now that that's going to start ringing on the line, the slot one. And I'll also place a second call in. And it may be that the trader realises that he needs to handle both of these calls. So he's going to answer both. And now we've got filled up the handsets and the trader now wants to join those together, merge them into one conference. And already we can see that there's a merge button that's been made available to the user. We've also got something which we call the instant replay, which I'll just show you. You can play back the last 30 seconds, uh, five minutes, whatever you want to do for a live call. But merge is what we're going to focus on. So if simply by pressing merge, it's now formed a conference on my handset one. I could then, if I like, you could have another person joining, calling in. I can answer that and merge them in. So it's a very straightforward manner of building conferences. And if I'd like to see the members within the conference and you've got running out of space in the, on the button, then I'll go using my satellite button and just press on conference here and it shows me who's participating in that conference on handset one. What I'll do is now I've chose, chosen to remove um, the hydro participants. So I'm just going to simply highlight him, remove him from the call, and that person is now dropped off. If I wanted to close the entire conference, simply a matter of pressing on the close conference button and everyone's dropped off the call. Finally, what I'll show you is that we have in our call history, we can show you um, all of the call status relevant to the trader's own DDI, direct extension, and also they may want to see call history relevant to a certain line. So if I just choose on the, the equities desk, I'm now on missed calls. I can see all of the missed calls relevant to the equities desk, but for one, I can just show you the, all of the calls that have been ongoing on the equities desk. and. Any of these um, entries, what I can do is highlight one and then add it to my board. So in the same way as your cell phone, um, you can search through your call history and then add the contact to your profile so that if that caller calls you back, then it will um, reference that contact. So I hope that's been pretty useful. Um, I'm going to try and do this more regularly, so uh, please visit again and I'll be popping up some other call features and neat functions that uh, we've we've got available thank you